3030 again on Strasbourg time. Is he east or westbound? Westbound toward Bayup City. Good copy, I'll try getting at Route 68. <laughs> Copy, we're past station two now. Lack of introduction, guys. We're just getting straight into it with a, with a uh, 1080. I will try and make a Incoming more formal introduction here shortly. Under control. Hey, firm just had 115. We can tell him, bro. County med for the taser problem. Very safe. I'm gonna bounce to that next 911 then. Safe to just arrived, uh, nothing seems out of the ordinary at this time. So I try to stay true for anyone in the 24 7. <clears throat> stay police, anyone in here? Jolly 24 7 is clear, appears just to be the staff. Uh, here. The advice we've got a uh, white habanero that's outside. <coughs> Ooh. Nice. If you and Frost start Incoming looking out for this vehicle, one, one. then. Uh, yeah. Oh. Right. Oh, okay. Hang on. Charlie 1, same traffic. Actually, once there's something on my account, I'm going to go for the car. That's received, Frost. Is that actually pinging cameras, is it? A firm just pinged one going north 13. Copy. <laughs> hey, Sean, I'm going to pull up and let you keep going to my way. Cheers, us. <laughs> As if you can head to the uh, to the twenty four seven, I'm going to assist Frost if we uh, get contact with this vehicle. 
Looks like you might be heading west for the uh, Sandy 24-7 next. Mark, units back off. I think I have it. Frost, I'm going to stay behind the truck. Just let me know when you want me up behind you. <clears throat> yeah, I got him. CCTV now, right there, right there. Copy. 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 Copy, don't bother reviewing it just yet. Just route your way over here. You take the dirt road up to the Joshua substation. That's gonna make more than that. 101, I'm gonna light him up as soon as he either takes Marina or goes past it. Gulp him offset from this truck, ready to uh, jump up to you. We got the red light, do we want to try and get the red light? Negative, it's just... Changed. Yeah, just changed, Roger. Moving. All right, Frost, this one's on you, mate. Driver, turn off the vehicle, throw the keys out the window. Your hands out the window with your right hand open the door from the outside and get out when you get out you're going to continue facing away from us you're going to walk backwards until i say stop walk back keep coming keep coming keep coming keep coming stop take a step to your right I don't know. Not seeing anyone else in the vehicle. Actually, keep going to your right. Stop. Why did I go up and get him? Just grab him and bring him back. As long as you have him behind your truck, then, yeah. then we can right, shield on you. Alright, let's move up. We'll fan right and keep ourselves out of traffic. I would just keep going left, mate, because we're already on here. Oh, are you behind me? Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're clear. Back to you. you want to get in and pop the trunk? Yeah. Ready? Go. There. X-ray, one, be 
advise one times 1015, vehicle clear, stem, and we are, you can clear signal 100, we're going to start an investigation. Any ID, driver's license, anything like that? Yep. That cool. Oh. Uh, excuse me, guys. Is running super unmarked. <laughs> okay. do, you want, do, you, do you know the reason why we're, you want to know the? Okay, so the reason we're stopping you is your plate was seen on CCTV over by the 24/7 in Harmony, leaving the scene of a robbery. Okay. We inputted your plate, inputted your plate into the MPR system. You pinged over on the 13 route, route 13, 24/7, where we got another robbery come through. Robbery alert come through. We got in that another ping is you turned on to Joshua over there by the freeway, and that's when we ended up behind you. Mm -hmm. So you want to explain what's going on? You can turn. You can turn and face me now. I have all your items. I uh, I needed to pay my rent for a month. And I was forty dollars okay. short. Okay. Say I would steal twenty dollars from. Why didn't you just steal forty dollars from both? Top of that, you're probably going to need to actually worry I about a finding a place in to, my car. Uh, find to live um, after you get out. You're going to have that issue going for you. Westbound hmm. for a bluing color four door sedan. Find anything interesting? No, mate. Car's clear. Just uh. Sealed the uh, screwdriver, which um, okay. he threw out. It's uh, okay. the ignition on the car is forced by the screwdriver, so okay. don't say the car's probably yeah, probably stolen. stolen. On top of that. So we'll have to try and trace down the RO the old hard way by getting Sancom to do it. Yeah. You'll have to get Sancom to do it. The plate doesn't come back. I ran it already. Oh no, I'm just sorting out my toaster. Um. I have his name, Frank George. I'll run that in a minute. I'll get that checked over. Um, he decided to uh, go rob two different 24 sevens for twenty dollars each to make up forty dollars he was missing on rent. Oh boy. So. 
you're kind of going to have a bigger issue of trying to find some place to live after you get out of jail. So. Probably. Well, I I stole the car from where I live down there on 68 at the corner of uh, uh, Joshua at the motel. You know what I'm very surprised at? I'm so you live down at 68. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that that clerk that you chose to rob that store, considering the fact that that clerk probably knew your name from you probably calling in so many times to buy regular stuff. Mm. So, you know, there's that. Director, you, can you transport him while I'll handle the report, please? Yep, no worries. Shit, he's already right. been read his rights, and I've already explained all, explained majority of the charges and stuff like that, so. Spawn. Right. If we come um, with any more, I'll tell the OC to inform him. Yeah, no worries. Has he been searched? Yep. As cool. I said, $40 and his ID, Frank George. Okay. All right, Mr. George, if you want to follow me to the charge, I'll get you stowed. Okay, you see it. Alright, go ahead, Stepper. Yeah, you'll have to assist me there, sir. Alright, no worries. All right, just mind your head. There are gonna be refreshments here on this drive. No, unless you brought SOs right over there, so I'll just take you straight there. Still on and transporting one ten fifteen to Sandy SO. <laughs> Step out for me. There we go. Alright. Straight through them double doors to your right. I've been here before. Yeah, what was that on? Uh, apparently, they thought I stole my buddy's truck or something like that. Tractor? Oh, okay. Alright, hang on, hang on a minute. Just come over here for a sec. Uh, oh no, sorry, my mistake. Down, down these stairs, uh, I'll get you into custody. Alright, just step in front of the desk for me, Frank. Alright, sit tight. <sighs> Alright, Frank, you got any personal effects on you? Any necklaces, watches, anything like that? Nope. No? Okay. Alright. And the ID and the $40, uh, those are still with my colleague, aren't they? Yes, sir. Okay. Alright. Let's one, one on one. Good. If I, are we allowed to spend someone's license on the side of the road due to Grand Theft Auto and possible uh, due to Grand Theft Auto? Negative, but we can seize the vehicle as stolen property. Got it. Thank you. Okay, it's no personal effects, nothing like that. Okay. I think that deputy already took him. Yeah. Alright. Walk on through for me. Thank you. Right. Alright. Let on through. Okay. Right. Good. 
take your perk. <clears throat> ah, few dollars. All right. George, um, you know the crack DLC will be here for you within the hour. Um, at this moment in time, uh, the charges you're going to be facing are robbery times two, um, and also uh, possession of stolen property and possibly Grand Theft Auto, uh, depending on how you got your hands on the car. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there anyone you'd like me to call to uh, let them know you're here, or do you want to? Do you want me to call a lawyer for you, or call the state lawyer? No. Okay. Um, well, we do have to get you legal representation sorted. I'll get the custody staff to get that all arranged. Is there anyone in particular that you would like? No, sir. Okay, not to worry. Um, if you have anything else, uh, there's going to be a button off to the side of the cell there um if you need any food water or you have any sort of requirements then custody staff will try and help you out where they can okay yes sir all right no worries try to stay out of trouble please frank Alright guys, so, now that that's sorted, welcome back to a, another video, um, it's going to be a super tiny patrol today, I'm not going to lie, we've literally only got Frost as myself on as LEO and G on as, as, uh, our Civ, um, <clears throat> myself and Briggs have been away for a while, covering, um, other general tidbits, um, I've had quite a busy August and one hell of a busy September, guys. And thankfully now, um, as of about two, three days ago, I'm now back all caught up. Uh, I still got a couple of things to get sorted, but nowhere near on the frequency um, as before with... Um, just general life things, to be honest, guys. But, yeah. So, um... We're getting back into recording, everything like that. Um, we have also been doing a little... A couple of little things on the side. Um, I did patrol... I did do one patrol as a Civ in the beginning of September or, like, early August. I can't remember, to be honest. Um, but basically we were... Um, that was the only patrol I could do. So, I was stupidly busy um i did record it but i've gone against uploading it because well i'll be honest my main uh my main focus is around leo but i'll start doing civ stuff if if people really want um or i'll give you guys like a little preview of what i do as civ it's a lot more I don't want to say messy, but when I do Civ stuff, it's a lot more on the fly. All I really do for planning ahead of time is characters, because I generally just like to do sort of like petty crimes, little minor petty thefts or stuff like that. Albeit, uh, the last patrol I did, we did a smash and grab robbery with a bulldozer and a couple of other Civs, which was a lot of fun, to be honest. Um, but, yeah. So, there is that. Um, oh, hello. Do you wanna? They're not. Can I? There you go. <laughs> like didn't want it. Didn't want the nozzle back. Okay. Um. But yeah. So a lot of my sieve stuff is generally not sloppy, but it's just chaotic and a little bit all over the place. Um. And it's not really in the flow of you know just patrolling because there's a lot of changing about and stuff. And I know that people generally don't mind. Uh, what, seeing that or anything like that, but, uh, which other one, I'll be back at 10.41 tonight. I know people generally don't mind, uh, seeing all that, 
but at the same time, I am... Um, it sort of just feels alien to me, so it'll be something I probably have to get used to, to be fair. But yeah, no, other than that, guys, um, I am back. I'll start recording um, back as frequently as I can. Um, we have had quite a number of changes, actually, as well, guys, uh, just as a heads up. So, um, for example, uh... As you'll notice by the title as well, uh, DPSRP is, well, no longer. DPSRP is now uh, CRP, which stands for Continental Roleplay. Um, literally, guys, the only reason we really did this is because there was a... Um, well, two main reasons. Um, the first reason being is that, obviously, there's more... Uh, there's a lot of... There's a lot more LEO agencies that CRP has now, uh, and it's not just DPS, but DPSRP wasn't really named DPSRP for that. Um, anyways, initially SADPS wasn't going to be SADPS, so there you go. Uh, or SADPS was going to be like SAST or something, I think, but I just decided with DPS um, just because of obviously DPSRP. But it was mainly going to be emergency services uh, oriented but obviously since then uh we've now got obviously dps as the state police we've got uh lspd lssd and bcso um lssd is basically managing lspd at the moment because lspd basically doesn't have a cm so we've We've not shut it down, but we've basically just merged it in with LSSD and essentially what LSSD is doing now is having what they're calling a metro subdivision, which is basically in time going to become the um, LSPD once we do get more numbers up. X-ray 9, X-ray 81, I'd like the ground truck to swallow me whole just then. What? for a baseball. I'm going to turn the catch up to a white in colour <laughs> moped for speeding 6150. Direction of travel. Last seen heading northbound, East Joshua Road, East Brown, East Joshua Road, to the bottom. Uh, roughly, I think I'm currently to the bottom side. Jelly 1, be advised, I'm Lushy at Route 13, Joshua. And I got it. I think I've got it northbound on Route 13. Here, it's just undertaking a truck. And for a time, to come up like you need. Negative, that's going to be SAHP. Then for right, the vehicle that went past me is very much a lot better. Yeah, 10 4. I'll uh, hook into Grapeseed, see if we can get anything there. Um, so, yeah, guys, anyways, um, you know, so LSSD is managing LSPD as well at the moment, which is the long and short of that. Um, the second reason that we did the name change is because um, when you actually look up on 5M server info, you've got. Um, Charlie one, I got the vehicle. It's gonna be Union Road 2000 heading back towards Route 13. Wider ride right, is gonna be a uh, pink headwear, red, sh uh, red shirt. It's gonna be at least 40 in the 35. Just undertook a truck. He's now northbound on Route 13 towards Polio Bay. Advice, he's struggling to, uh, or she, right, it looks to be female actually, she's struggling to maintain her lines. Um, so, yeah, the whole reason we, uh, yeah, as I'll let you, uh, take primary on this. Come, which other one's come to a natural, uh, 2000 mile marker India, route 13. Mm. 
No, that's alright. I didn't actually technically clock a speed on Union, but I'm guessing this is the rider you were wanting, yeah? Yes. <laughs> alright, I'll just observe, mate. It's, uh, I'll leave this to you, mate. Alrighty, so... And most of you with BCS Ogden Apple Drove today. Boom. Uh, well... Day, you access speed. Why okay, so mm. heavy goods vehicles, which is incredibly dangerous. The whole reason why um, we've changed from Continental D, uh, con oh sorry, from DPS RP to CRP, guys, is because when you looked up DPS RP on the 5M server list, <laughs> DPS RP comes up with something stupid like 28 or 29, possibly even into its 30s of other servers as uh, server results. Whereas when you look up CRP, CRP only had two returns, now three with us added. Um, and the other two continental role plays were literally, um, they weren't even English speaking servers. So I think we're the only American slash uh, English based uh, server called Continental RP, to be honest, guys. So that makes us super easy to find on the list. I love those flags. Say again, as. Hmm? Say that again. I love those flags that just instantly pop up as soon as I search their name. Oh, really? Rear fender, uh, mental. Um, oh, wrong one. Never mind. I got violent evade and then directly on them, rear fender, mental health for all. Oh, yikes. I know, right? What's this person's name? Dixie McCreel. I have heard of her. Dixie McFinnels, goddammit. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so, yeah, we've changed our name. Those were the only two main reasons. Um, other than that, yeah, no, it's... Uh, DPSRP as a name is kind of original. Or, it, not original, but it's... Um, it's become one of the generic names, really. Um, whereas now, uh, having something a little bit more unique to us is quite nice, I think. Right. Oh, that's some good Lucasade. <laughs> Thank 
Hey, 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 would you argue them undertaking a heavy goods vehicle class as reckless operation of a motor vehicle? No, it would be negligent, mate. <laughs> this is going to sound really stupid, but I'll just spell it. Uh, N E G L I G E N T. <laughs> I think that's it, anyways. You put me on the spot there as well, actually. Negligent. Boy, this ticket gets longer and longer. Driver's license is still valid. Actually, license cover them riding on my bike. Driver Lens Operation, most like endorsement, it's still valid, it's still within it. That's done then. They won't be able to drive away with it though, can they? If it's uninsured. Yeah, if it's got no insurance, mate, then we have to seize it. Joyous. Let me give him the bad thing before that prints off. <coughs> Alrighty, Mr. McPhee, I've got some bad news for you. Yeah. The insurance on his grades with the local current salons expired. Yeah. Okay, I'll get off. So at this time as well, um, it's currently getting printed off, but I will be also issuing a citation for operating a vehicle without valid, uh, without valid insurance. Because you've been witnessed by not only myself, but other law enforcement units um, undertaking heavy goods vehicles, which is putting yourself at risk, um, along with depending on um, how that driver reacts could cause an accident. So you'll also be receiving a, on top of that citation, with negligent operation motor vehicle, and because I clocked you going 61 to 50, you'll also be getting speeding 1 to 19. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Outstanding. Once it's printed off, I'll have you sign the bottom of it. Just to make you aware that, that is not a mission of guilt, it's just so that you'll handle the ticket in court. And um, I will get a taxi down here to pick you up along with a tow to recover your vehicle. Alright, what's the uh, total gonna be? Total for just the citation is around $850. The Because your moped's gonna have to be towed and I believe actually it ends up going into our impound, you may end up having to pay a fee for how long it stays in the impound along with to collect it from the impound and then um yeah okay all right mm -hmm. and then obviously attack too because i can't let you sit on stand on the side of the freeway as well yep Stand tight for me while I get your ticket. Alright. Here, Dix, if you want to either take a seat by the tree or lean against it or whatever, 
Just get you out the road for me. Can I get a... mm -hmm. Do you have anything in the moped that uh, you need to get before we take off your hands? No, you sure? Yep. There's no uh, flares in there this time. Wait, what? I said there isn't. There isn't any what? Anything to start fires. Oh, that's not what I was asking. I was just asking if there's anything you yeah, needed I'm from just, it. I, I know because I, I was just making it. So you know that you know there's no crime making happening. When you say it like that, it kind of makes me feel that there is. Nope. Just to make you aware, I'm gonna have to switch my but anyway. <laughs> get collected by uh, recovery. So is there anything in the vehicle I need to be aware of? No. Is there anything in the vehicle of your personal belongings you wish to collect before it gets recovered? Nope. Oh. Outstanding. If you can start the bomb here again, not unless you go to so it'll deal with in court. I'll just pay the ticket. Outstanding, that half is yours, this half is mine, it has your court date on the back there. Mm -hmm. And that we got a taxi on the way for you as well, so just on the for there. Okay. Outstanding. <laughs> this one.
Yeah, as you right fire scoop, seeing as Miss McPhil's gone now. Yeah. Alright, mate. Alright, take it easy, mate. Be yeah. safe. I'm always safe. <laughs> Excuse me. Three one, be advised, he's gonna be pulled over now at three thousand seven. What's my controller doing? On nylon nerve. So, uh, is he attempting to try and find the hospital that we told him to go to because he wants a fifty one fifty? Negative, and you also pass him. He's on nylon <laughs> three thousand seven. Pulled over, I believe he's now walking back to his car. I think we've just busted a drug dealer and also yeah. a drug buyer. Amazing. <laughs> As well as that, he was crawling at like 12 mile an hour down this road. No. Alright, okay. So... Yeah. Alright. I'll run the play real quick. I'm feeling I know who this is. It's Adam Skyler. Yeah, out of fan that would be. So if you wouldn't mind just running his entire info, please. Yeah, would I? <clears throat> when was the last time you took any form of narcotics? Uh... Never. So... Unless it was prescribed by a doctor, I don't... I don't know. Narcotics is illegal drug paraphernalia. Not no. Legal prescribed stuff. So... No, I... I never have taken any. Why have you gone to a house behind me and that's been there but I'm going to look local here? Because Max... or Steve... That, that it somewhere's in Sandy and he wasn't remember he couldn't remember where. Steve Hurst. Oh. Has told you to go get drugs. Yes. 
he's my friend. Okay, it's from point. Oh uh, yeah, he's done that as LSSD captain. Okay. <laughs> Don't leave him on his own. Oh, I know. Good old Mr. Steve I heard him. Hope told him. I heard him. Don't close the door. Warning. You... Violent. Mm. You... you couldn't just go back around the other side. Okay. Actually, hold on one sec. Hmm? Just checking the vehicle again, give me one sec. You want the plate? No, I swear I got it. Did you hear about that Steve Pope section? Yeah, give me one sec. Okay. <clears throat> No, the only thing that's raising my suspicion slightly is the fact that his car, the mm. registry or the vehicle document comes back to a this vehicle in grey, not red, so. Yeah, he got it painted or wrapped or something down <laughs> Mr. Bay's time. Okay. Yeah, I, we had this issue the last time. That that was we had this issue the last time I we stopped him when we when I towed his car. Okay. Um, so, yeah, um, we have him, who I believe is a drug dealer, mm -hmm. who's also probably connected to Mr. Steve Pulp. Because it apparently was Steve Pulp that told him to come out here and look for the guy that sells drugs on us. Okay. So. Alright, might be worth it knowing that down on an incident report then. Yeah, I'll get. Uh, all right. Dealing with it, and then if they need any assets, I can provide it. Yeah. So. And the assets that we have, we'll have to deal with in regards to it. <clears throat> so, uh, turning to drugs isn't going to make it better, it's going to make it worse. So it's going to lead you down to a life of crime, a life in prison, and a lot of death. And dealing with a lot of bad people. If you're it's feeling just... down or sad, there are systems in place to help you out, whether it's because you're still going through the process of grieving or if it's something like depression. <coughs> What's the crack here, guys? He's been told by Steve Polk that either in Polito or Sandy there is a guy selling narcotics. Oh, I'm just going to use their layman terms. Drugs, um, because drugs make people happy, and this individual here is not happy. He misses his sister, who is deceased. Alright, okay. And as I've just been explaining, drugs not the best fruit. Steve, you got any drugs on you at the minute? Oh, sorry, Adam. Yeah, Adam. I, I I could not find the, the guy yet, and I if if this is what it's gonna be like, I don't want him. I'd rather go see professional help. Yeah, I'd recommend that, mate. Yeah. I will oh, say I, this. Like I was telling this fine deputy, you can search me and my car, and you will find no drugs. Yeah, I mean we will have to now because of the nature of the call, mate, but. Yeah. And I also have to let you know now as well. This is calm because we're more concerned about you, your mental health, and obviously now is um your sister is in of you mentioning narcotics. We need to obviously ensure that they're not present. If we have to consistently deal with you as a reoffender with narcotics, it isn't gonna be this calm thing it's going to be stop vehicle get you out cuffs back of a car done we're not going to be there's a point where if we're constantly dealing with you 
with drugs, Director. a lot of the time the scenarios aren't going to be so simple walk up, you come here for a second. out the car calmly, because you might be with other people that aren't. What's up? That's correct. I believe it's Megan, anyways. Um, do you happen to recall why? Because the best there's no report is dating back to that at all. Back to there's no incident report, period. Uh, yeah, no, this was before um, we had the uh, cat issue, but I believe. I believe she was. Um, I believe she was shot by Elio after a uh, incident, like a violent incident. She didn't surrender and ended up getting lit up. I was wondering, so I got curious, and then I went to look, and then not even in the San Com the old Sancom database has anything. That's why I was wondering. Yeah. No, the old Sancom database has the old licenses and arrests and stuff, but there's not any in it. I'm with you. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. If we could change what that ends, we don't like people losing their life. We're not here to, regardless of who it is. Sir. Are you trying to supply him with drugs? I'll leave you with this gentleman, Frost. Alright. Um... Adam, do you have any issues if I search your vehicle? Go for it. Alright. I know in general we don't have a positive outlook through media and everything. We are always going to be here to help. That's our job. As do me a favor if you can just um search his person please. Hold on, I've got body cam on. Yeah. I've been ranging my dash cam. I just don't try not to move around too much. I'm gonna it's just a good thing. What the hell? They had a night in at the Yellow Jack. Yeah, right. Apparently, he never found the person that supplied the drugs, so... Right, okay.
you find anything? Just a bottle of water, mate. Yo, yeah, mind to run a quick liquid test on it. Yeah. Liquid test one if you want. Yeah, I'm just checking it now, see if there's anything rea any reaction from it. Oh, okay. I think you have your reaction. Yeah, nothing coming from it. Yeah, and I think this is just water, so we uh... You don't want me to run a test on it then? Nah, that's good. I have it. <sighs> What's prompted Adam to come out here? Saying he's feeling depressed about his sibling or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he's, I stated that he misses his sister. Right, okay. Director, you know my sister, I think. Is it Megan, is it? Yes. Yeah, no, I remember her. Um, right, mate, hang on. <clears throat> Alright, do me a favour, mate. Give that number a call if you're feeling like you're going to do something stupid in the future, okay? Um, it's got Good Samaritan's number on it, Mind, uh, Mental Health Charity, number on it, and a couple of other numbers on it, okay? Um, word of warning, if you go down this route in the future, we'll be doing the exact same, stopping you, turning you over. And obviously, if you got drugs on you, we will arrest you, take you to jail, get you charged, everything like that, okay? Um, obviously, there's nothing been found on you. My recommendation is either go to therapy, go to the gym, get your mind out, or get out your mind, get out your own head about the stuff, and then just try and do something where you do stuff, like practice a hobby or something like that, and where, obviously... Get your body moving. Eventually, the mind will follow, mate. Okay. Yeah, 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 sir. All right. Okay. I got nothing else for you unless uh, these two deputies do. No. All right. Negative. All right. All right, mate. We'll get you cut away. But let me find you around in these circumstances in the future, mate. Yes, sir. All right. Go on. Get out of here. I forgot to grab your stuff off my head. Yeah. Shall I want to be back code for tonight? Make sure I'm not back tonight. Incoming 911. Same traffic. Action out now, I'll be on standby. It's gonna be a shot, Amy. Yes, yeah, in the middle of the street, so. We'll roll to a code two, guys.
Charlie 1481. Sand. This vehicle in the middle of the road. Sand. Sorry, Frost, I thought it came across. Um, is this fit? Is this vehicle in the middle of the road? Yes, sir. Very safe. Sand King, get the fuck out the way! Damn! Ma'am! Move! Uh, four, five? There you go. What the hell? God damn. Some people. Women drive the night. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Okay, alright. Uh, oh, hang on, that's not prompting me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Right, yeah, right. Uh, we might need to just push it to the side of the road. Okay. Oh, okay then. <laughs> okay, that works. Hang on, oh. Adam. You get you get in the uh, driver's seat, mate. Steer it. Ready. Will that work? Mm. No, it's not letting me push it. What the hell? There we oh. go. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Is oh. it? Oh. What the <laughs> hell? The actual he's actually hell. Oh, Alright, well, you know what? Fuck this one sec. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I have an idea. Get the fuck out of the way! Hang on, I'll just get, um, as for now. That's right. Here's the truck. But, yeah, we got a tow rope on the charger. Trust me, mate. It's probably safer to do to use a truck for it, because it's more weight. Nah, it's not about weight, it's about power, mate. Here, watch out, let me get through. You clear, Frost. Yeah, go for a minute. All right.
Okay. Um. Give me one sec. I don't know. There we go. Go now, it's working. Is it actually? Yeah, one sec. Oh, shit. There we go. Two gallons there. That should hopefully see you to the petrol station at where Route 68 meets the one. Okay. Okay. All right. No worries. You take it easy, Adam. Thank you. That's all right, mate. Peter is. 